The six reasons people attempt suicide. Have you ever wondered why people commit suicide and how you missed the signs in the first place? Especially if it's a close relation? Here's the thing, there are many factors that contribute to a person's decision to commit suicide. It is often an act made during a storm of strong emotions and life stresses rather than after careful consideration. Do you know that people who survive suicide attempts have reported wanting not so much to die as to stop living? A strange dichotomy, but a valid one nevertheless. It's much like they want to stop living but not necessarily die. So if there was some kind of in-between state or some other alternative to death, they'll likely take that. Anyway, regardless of that, why do people even consider attempting suicide in the first place? In this video, I'll share with you the six reasons people attempt suicide. This, I believe, will help you become a successful person. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. 1. Depression According to the American Association of Suicidology, depression is present in about half of all suicides. Depression can make people feel great emotional pain and loss of hope, making them unable to see another way to relieve the pain other than ending their own life. This severe depression is what leads people to think that the only way out of their present suffering is to put an end to their lives, because the pain of existence has become too severe for them to bear. Depression can make a person think that life will be better off without them and that everyone will be fine without them. When a person starts thinking in this manner, they start planning suicide without anyone ever knowing. Can we say that this is their fault to think this way? Of course not. Depression is a disease, just like heart attack, diabetes and the likes. The end product of the disease is the kind of thoughts that they begin to house in their minds without anyone knowing. So, if you notice that a person is depressed, you should help them by taking them to a good healthcare facility for treatment before it gets to a point where they begin to think, plan and eventually attempt suicide. 2. Intense pain or terminal illness When a person has chronic pain or illness with no hope of a cure, Suicide may seem like a way to regain dignity and control of their life. David Klonsky, a psychologist at the University of British Columbia in Canada and psychology doctoral candidate Alexis May, developed a questionnaire to understand suicide motivations and then gave it to 120 people who had attempted suicide over the past three years in British Columbia. Half of the people came from the general population and had a median age of 38 years old, while the other half consisted of undergraduates at a median age of 21. Most had attempted suicide between one and three times, though at least one patient had made 15 attempts. Surprisingly, people said that they attempted suicide because of unbearable psychological distress they were hopeless would ever improve. A study in the American Journal of Preventive Medicine suggests that health conditions such as asthma, back pain, cancer, diabetes, HIV AIDS, heart disease, high blood pressure are associated with a higher risk of suicide. Also, according to research, people with chronic pain are four times more likely to have depression or anxiety than those who are pain-free. 3. Hopelessness when people feel that they have lost all hope and don't think that there is a way that they can change that, they start feeling depressed, and this overshadows every other good thing in their lives, making them believe that suicide is the only way out. Surprisingly, while everyone outside can tell that the situation they are facing will get better with time, they may not be able to see this due to the despair that goes alongside depression. Four. Substance abuse and impulsivity Impulsivity is often related to drugs and alcohol. It becomes maudlin and impulsively attempts to take away their lives. They simply act under the influence of the substance they take. Although, when they become calm and sober, they genuinely feel remorseful and there's no telling if they won't repeat it. The next time they are under the influence of the substance, which is why we are constantly reminded of the harm of substance abuse and the need to do away with them. 5. They don't know how to cry for help. Sometimes 
people who attempt suicide do so not because they want to die, but because they don't know how to cry for help. Hence, they are suffering so much in silence. Do you know that sometimes people who do not know how to cry for help attempt suicides with the belief that they won't die? So they choose methods that they don't think can kill them to strike out at someone who's hurt them, but sometimes, tragically, misinformed. It becomes a way to demonstrate to the world just how much they are hurting. Unfortunately, this kind of cry for help may prove to be fatal if the person misjudges the lethality of her chosen suicide method. On a few occasions of failed attempts, chances are that they'll attempt it a second time and this time around, they'll opt for something lethal. 6. Loss of Fear of Loss When some people experience a loss or when they perceive one, they are tempted to think that the only way out of their pain and misery is to take their lives. For instance, when they end in a romantic relationship or a close friendship, losing a job or being unemployed and unable to find a sufficient source of steady income, they lose their life situation due to financial reasons or fail academically, face bullying, shaming or humiliation, including cyberbullying, getting arrested or imprisoned, etc., suicide becomes their way out to deal with their loss because according to David Klonsky, a psychologist at the University of British Columbia in Canada, everything about our biology is to avoid pain, avoid injury, and avoid death. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'd like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.